Alright, so Jack's gonna Hello everybody, spot, welcome back to an use. awesome so night of Squad Ops. This is our Wednesday so operation, the uh, September 27th. Hey. We're going to be running we Operation Spartan Trail. I'm going to be altering a couple of my uh, audio settings here just to make sure that we are all the, uh, good. But yeah, how is everyone doing? Once again, this is squadops.gg hosting Operation Spartan Trail, a One Life Squad event. Uh, this being a One Life event means that once you go down, that is it. You're out for the count. And uh, yeah, my name is Karmacut. I'm the director and founder over here at Squad Ops. I'm joined by Penn, who the um, magic behind the scenes. He's going to be working these multi-cam perspectives for you guys. So if you look at the top right of your screen, you'll see the name of the person you're viewing, and he's going to cycle through those uh cameras right now and so yeah this is our standard stream uh we got multiple ops guys here we got different squad leaders and we're gonna run through who's all playing here in a second all right so we're gonna pull up the uh teams here and uh, we got a U.S. versus Insurgent operation today, Operation Spartan Trail. Uh, the Insurgents are going to try to cut off an American rescue attempt uh, on a squad behind enemy lines. And so for the U.S., leading Squad 1, we have Burns. Squad 2, we have Best Pony. Squad 3, we have Dessa. Squad 4, we have Schmitty. And commanding the U.S. is Sightless. On the opposite team, we have CMYK Matter for Squad 1, Satan for Squad 2, uh, Chappie for Squad 3, and Xbit for Squad 4 with Shadow Ritual commanding for uh, the Insurgents. Once again, over here at Squad Ops, we roll two sides. We do uh, one side on this American side with this American leadership, and then we'll switch the teams and we'll be spectating a different American leadership. Um so yeah, right now as you can see we have the uh we have the right, Americans one, pushing one, off to their squad forward uh mark. And then four you're gonna be spawning in at five Ross with me. And then we have the insurgents are gonna be holding the spawn until the Americans get a little further. What's uh, going on over here? We're gonna be showing you the operation overlay, which is the assets for this operation. And uh, that's going to be popping up on your screen here momentarily. All right. So as you can see, the certain assets for the operation, the amount of weapons per group and the amount of uh, the amount of vehicles as well. INS gets full vehicle scrounging on this operation, including the Yardi Techie and other de uh, techies. The Americans get a uh, striker and they can uh, resupply the team to the front uh, from the second checkpoint. And as we switch over here to the second slide, uh, you can see the operation rules and objective for tonight. There is a squad, a U.S. squad on the western side of the map that U.S. must reach and supply and defend. Uh, the insurgents' job is to find and destroy any remaining uh, opposition either there or sent to assist that squad. So we got quite an operation here, a lot of moving parts. This is a very fun one. Operation Spartan Trail has been here for, for quite a while. We've been running it for maybe about a, about a year. Um, but yeah, we have more operations every month. We're constantly growing and improving ops. Uh, definitely some cool, cool things. So once again, this is squadops.gg, uh, hosted by Karma Cut with Penn working the magic behind the scenes. If you're interested in learning more about Squad Ops, check out our website, squadops.gg, our YouTube page at youtube.com slash squad ops, and our twitch.tv slash squad ops. But yeah, both teams are getting set here. They're going to be running their uh, briefing momentarily. And as they run their briefing, uh, we're going to be listening in uh, once we can. Uh, looks like leadership on the U.S. is still working on getting their... Uh, Squads oriented and situated. Let's start a uh, mosh. Is this razor bar work? Yeah, they're still they're still setting here. I was gonna say, why are no. they so close? Do they not realize that we like? So as you can see, Silverman is live here, and he's moving down on foot to their uh, objective. Hey, Silverman, don't be climbing around in that shit. All right. So. Okay, I'm confused. So it looks like uh, Squad 2 is pushing really far to their uh, 
Community brief should have been done already. We do not have community brief. It was a full discord They're pushing brief, so over to their objective. Out. Looks like they're pushing to INS right, resupply. Right. That's where they're going to be held up. Um, is that hash in the echo line visible, or can they not spawn on it because it's past the echo fox shot line? I'm not. They can spawn on it. They can spawn on it. They can spawn. They okay. Want. Hey, firm. All right. Uh, here's the plan then. Um, Odessa, you guys. All are right. Got a plan the, formulating uh, here from Larue. To uh, the bridge. Oh, it looks like Larue is actually going to be taking over for command. Oh, we're going to cross the bridge there. Uh, what's going to happen to secure that? To secure it. Uh, we're going to send Schmitty squad. They're gonna move and make sure that enemies aren't spawning at that cache, and if so, ambush them. And they're gonna regroup with you guys at the bridge. Uh, Burns is just gonna double time it along my side of the road, uh, river, all the way and try and uh, cross the uh, bridge where Pony's about to right now, near the INS resupply, and reinforce the uh, reinforce the fob as soon as possible. I'm gonna go with Pony, uh, with Burns' squad, and throw the uh, radio down. Once Schmitty has secured um, our side of the river, we can get the vehicles across. We're going to double time the uh, vehicles and try and get up here with Schmitty's squad running air interference for them. Alright, copy. Sound good? Alright, so it looks like Schmitty is uh, going to be running interference for the team while the vehicles Anyone push the objective. Uh, on this objective, as we can see, the U.S. has decided to pick that Delta 8 point to put their forward squad. All yeah, remaining U.S. squads over. and assets must make their way to that objective and defend that squad. I, uh, insurgent forces can spawn on either one of the caches, the Echo 7 or the Hotel 7. Um, yeah. As well as insurgent main at Bravo 10. So this is going to be a lot of angles that insurgents can work to try to That's find this group. And if they do find them, they'll have them pretty surrounded with these cache locations. So it's going to be pretty exciting to see what happens this operation. Uh, vehicles are locked onto roads and bridges. So we're going to see how INS can either delay, find, or destroy the Americans on this operation. We're going to be crossing. So you're trying to figure out a way to cut them off. That's all. Mm-hmm. Alright, sounds good. Um, and then last thing, once one regroups with, on the, uh, FOB mark, are we going after Americans? Are we just staying one, on the point, or are we pushing out somewhere? Squad 1 gets there. Squad 1's responsibility is going to be the, uh, south side. Uh, Pony squad is gonna watch the east and north. Alright. So, if that means, if that, if that means keeping full, uh, in the fields on the south, or, yeah. So, southwest is squad 1, yes. squad 1. Northeast is squad two. Copy. All right, let's uh, give them their nice brief. Oh, wait, do I get? All right, stand by for command brief. All right, how the? All right, how the fuck are we gonna do? Command brief. <laughs> you just. You gotta them. brief them up. You just tell okay, them what right. All right, looks like we're going to listen here to the U.S. brief as they brief the uh, platoon on the plan. Oh, yeah. Why can't I move forward? What is this? I can't move forward. Okay. This invisible person. All right, everyone. All right, welcome to Operation Stampede, guys. I'm your commander, LaRue. And uh, we have been tasked with uh, rendezvousing with our friendly forces behind enemy lines, our recon team, and uh, slapping a fob down there and protecting it from the incoming insurgents. The way that we're going to do this is, as you can see, Squad 2 is already on point. And they're going to be in charge of covering the northeast approach. Off of live, Burns' squad, Squad 1, is going to double time it along our side of the river as quick as possible up to the uh, the bridge right near the resupply where Pony Squad is. You're gonna, they're going to cross the bridge if they need to, and their area of responsibility is south east, uh, southwest. Sorry, southwest. So once Squad 1 reaches there, they're going to be covering southwest, and Squad 2 is going to be covering northeast. Now uh, we get Oji and a striker. So Odessa's squad, which is Squad 3, is spawning an army checkpoint. They're going to bring the striker the logi over to the bridge at two sub key at two they're gonna wait on their side of the bridge pull 360 and use the striker to cover them while schmitty's squad which is squad four is gonna push themselves all uh, push their squad all the way over to the bridge and secure it uh they're gonna sweep through the uh the compounds uh with the enemy cache location uh eliminating any contact they see or uh hiding if they feel they need to uh the whole purpose of this is they're gonna run interference while we get the vehicles up to uh, the checkpoint. Once they cross the, uh, once the vehicles cross onto our side of the river, they're gonna double time it all the way up to the resupply 
hopefully get size down and then use the striker to uh, win us the game. Does anyone have any questions? All right, let's do it. All right, so it looks like uh, LaRue's plan for the U.S. is to play around that striker at Army Checkpoint. They're going to try to roll it onto the bridge. But if we look at what's in between this infantry platoon and the striker, there's a full insurgent squad over here. Two full insurgent squads, and they're going to do everything they can to delay that striker. And you can be sure that there are going to be some big booms happening on the northeast side of the map. Uh, we, have one we have two squads over here. We have one squad near INS resupply. It looks like they're also going to try to set up to ambush, but they might actually look for this uh, initial squad on the west. But yeah, we're going to see a lot of explosions. I think that ambush is going to be pretty, pretty deadly. Um, and I think it's going to be pretty effective. All right, so Burns, you can... Couple insurgents choosing to spawn over here as well. Okay, guys, start your, you can start your guys up here with me, and we're gonna run through the river. Took the not, not the AKM, the other one. I forget what. Uh, I All right, we're having some issues with this cache location. Anyway. Apparently, not everybody's able to spawn on it, so we're just working on it right now. So it's gonna be a few minutes to live. All right, um, one, you're all here. Hey, firm, one is all here. If you all right, four, we'll just roll with the punches. Guys, spawn the west cache. Yeah, but spawn on the west cache. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, but there is some specific ops where you're not. Oh, I thought it wasn't allowed. So, Never. So. Wow. Whoops. No. What isn't allowed? Play with, uh, G3. Yeah. Oh, there's most ops. It's uh, not allowed, but yeah. Like this op, it's fine. On. The G3 is fine on this one. The insurgents are already in stacked, good to go. And they're gonna be ready here in a few. But yeah, this is a fun op. There's a lot of uh, a lot of mobility in this operation. There's a lot of flanking, a lot of interceptions going on. Uh, especially with the vehicles, the cash, it didn't wanna it's, nice it's pretty uh, hard to get the striker all over from the army checkpoint, which we're going to fly over to here, over here. Uh, later, this is the striker team over on the uh, north east. They're going to have the Lodgy and the striker, and uh, they're going to attempt to get from point A, which is army checkpoint, to point B, which is the... Uh, on the Which is a street right here. Bridge in the north until Squad Four gives us the okay, correct? Yeah, I would, I would uh, hold the vehicles before you actually make turn left to the bridge, and then pull 360 and try and get eyes up on the bridge, make sure they're not uh, trying to ambush you guys. All right, copy. All right, we do so have a couple cool asset overlays, and uh, we're gonna show you the striker right overlay now. here, and uh, just talk about the striker really fast. All right. All right. So yeah, as you can see here, the Striker is a high armored vehicle. Yeah, it's got a lot of damage on it. It's got a crow system on the top for offensive capabilities. However, this thing is really big and really loud. You can ambush this thing uh, with the proper amount of equipment. Um, and with enough focus firepower, you are able to destroy it. But it is the strongest vehicle within squad right now. Uh, and so we'll see if insurgents are actually able to ambush this convoy uh, effectively or if this vehicle will be too strong to uh, stop. We're live here, and in one minute, exactly 60 seconds, we also have the Lodgy here. If the U.S. can get this Lodgy to the uh, forward team on the west, they can resupply it and start defending with emplacements. Live in 45, let's do it. And girls. All right. And we're going to spectate the uh, insurgents over here and see how they set up the sandwich because they must know that the vehicle is going to come from the northeast. 
Looks like they are stacked on either side of the doorway. And we'll see what happens here. Live in five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're live. Insurgent forces moving out. You can see RPGs already out. They are ready to hit this. Uh, right, just keep updated, guys. They are ready to hit this uh, convoy. Let's see how close they're actually able to get to this vehicle. And if they're going to be spotted or if they're able to effectively ambush. Convoy. Convoy halting here early before the uh, bridge. And insurgents are ready and waiting. We have two insurgent squads over here. One on the west, one on the south. Striker already sees contact, contact and is engaged in contact here. across the uh, bridge. Uh, with but this uh, uh, RPG team is moving over here. And he's going to line up a shot. He's going to get a little closer, I think. I don't know. Where's he going? Copy. I'm going to hold my position here. I got full eyes on them. Contacts are 8794. So there's one RPG Papers. here. This like uh, this isn't going to be enough to destroy the uh, the striker, but maybe with the uh, technical uh, here, they might be able to... Uh, nope, they're not going to take people. the technical. Also, over here, <laughs> back at the original point, insurgents uh, set up here at the bridge on their initial spawn. They're going to kind of take out this team that's going to try to screen for them. There's an ambush. It's about to happen right here. No IDs down or mines for either uh, for either insurgent squads. And uh, they're about to be engaged, be engaged on over here. Shots come out. Taking out U.S. squad leader. Schmitty squad leader for Schmitty down. Vehicle driver's dead. And this... Uh, Vehicle driver's dead. Uh, what's up, Silverman? What happened down there? Yeah, a lot of a lot of stuff happening on either side of the map right now. We have this RPG finally, uh, RPG died, team uh, finally trying to get in uh, yep. range. We're, we're now under, uh, they need to again. step it up. I'm not sure what they're doing over here. What's the status? Could have been some free hits on this uh, striker, but they're kind of sitting back. Uh, and Schmitty squad think? completely we'll cut off from assisting. Uh, I think, think if you swing them around through Kilo 5 and blitz through the south side, they have a much higher chance of surviving. Alright, copy that Odessa, uh, pull back, All right. and uh, pull back to Kilo 5, cross the bridge, and then follow the outside of the map. Uh, squad 4, disengage, disengage, try and bound back towards us. And Insurgent's not really Who is that capitalizing on this. Yeah, that's you Squad 4, bound back. Yeah, yeah, 5, okay, right. Not sure what this RPG team is doing. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of confused here. This striker was here for an extended period of time and they had an opportunity to blast it, but it doesn't seem like that's gonna, gonna be happening. They seem really confused. Who is this? It's over here. Yeah. Not quite sure what's going on with the insurgents. Uh, Seems to be a lot of confusion over here. Negative, he's AFK. They're going to be pulling off RPG loot, like, completely, I don't know, completely, uh, missing his shot. <laughs> they had, uh, yeah. they had a lot of time right there. That was the RPG right, gunner. Start moving, uh, a little disappointing. West. Um, but yeah, they are going to be pushing off. If the, the one thing that will come from this is they're going to be able to see this. And if they read this play, they will be able to go and uh, cut them off on the north. We're which fine. I think they're going to do. Team Hopefully team. this RPG gunner, hey, RPG for, gunner uh, can uh, Ross, just underneath the bridge, uh, near Fob Ross, can get a shot off because he's in a prime the, position uh, to do some the, damage. Uh, and then start moving towards squad two, try and come in behind any contacts uh, on the other side. Seems to be some confusion happening Did on both sides. No, you're going to stay on the north side. You're going to stay on the north side of the river. Copy. But yeah. I don't know what happened the there. They were uh, well within range been, to engage. Uh, literally on the other side of the wall, but there was no RPG. 
round going did out. Did you finish seeing where it went? I saw kind it of confused. Like northeast. Uh, and like they're going to break far east. So nothing, nothing is going to be able to come from this. Uh, I don't think, unless. Tommy, have you? Uh, what's the contact like over there? The uh, insurgents set up a secondary roadblock over here. I'm not sure how much assets they lost on that initial contact. If they lost too many scouts and too many lats, they will not be able to engage this uh, vehicle, anyways. But we'll see um, if there are enough RPG gunners and uh, IEDs or mines here. Because uh, that vehicle is going to go far around the east. It's going to get delayed for quite a while. So the striker is going to be looping far around the east side of the map. All right, and all quiet now uh, after that initial little uh, scuffle. INS uh, losing a chance to get to some uh, RPGs on the striker. Uh, and they are now spread out. Got this there. is actually a very dangerous Thank position you. for Shadow to be in because if the striker does manage to get by, uh, he will have his entire squad out of position here on the north and the uh, far east. And all US will have the opportunity to set up within the uh, structure. However, it does look like he's set up well enough to All right, one, since you're getting close, ambush I'm this uh, get bolder here with my this striker if it does come down this side here. Copy that. We got your south end clear. We'll see. We'll I see. I do not eat any enemies in any direction. Alright, yeah, we're just going to be following the striker here. Um, it's coming a long way. A lot of INS now breaking contact and moving southbound. And we are getting a mine down. Oh, wait, there is a mine going uh, down here infantry, for the, the insurgents. And this is a very, e very good place to put a mine. Hey, firm. E seven seven seven. So yeah, kind of finally, we're seeing a mine go down for insurgents, and he's so, gonna he's gonna shovel this up, Alpha, nice and tidy. Mine, we'll see if the uh, striker decides. Well. Striker has two options. It can either take this south area where we're standing over right now with the mine, or it can bypass squad four where that cache location is. Uh, INS has a good grip on this location because if they do take the uh, Brit, the, the northern route, which is uh, the route where squad five is, they have a whole squad, squad four, in position right, to ambush the truck as it comes by. And if they do choose to go the south route, they have this mine that they're going to have to deal with. So it's going to be kind of interesting to see, you know, what what right, happens we're here. We're taking the strike up now. We're in the south. Squad four, are you guys clear? Can we move up to you? So it doesn't look like Odessa yeah, knows that their moving. entire uh, entire screening element right, broke contact. <clears throat> so there's going to be quite a big ambush here because uh, Squad 4 broke from the screen. They weren't able to actually push through 5 and uh, 4. And now this entire area is controlled by insurgents. So the striker plus Lodgy is now uh, now stuck in the back here. Is the Lodgy get stuck? Or they just dismounted. I think they just, uh, that Lodgy just got Sorry, stuck. Oh well. Enemies, the north That's gonna be even worse because if they all pile into the striker and get hit by the mine, they're all gonna go bye bye. One fire team. Yeah, one that Lodgy, that Lodgy is now flipped. Uh, out here in the, the middle Why did we lose the yep. of the open. We're the Peronis, Lodgy, and now these US soldiers are. Very upset and sad. I didn't even think that it was actually. I thought I thought it, maybe it was me, dude. I was like lag or some shit. All right. All right. They've spotted me. They're going up to the wall, Jack. They firm. So if uh, Odessa's right. squad is not paying right, attention, uh, coordinate with squad uh, four. This could Have get really gross them. really fast uh, with the mine. <laughs> So we either get a nice big boom, or they're going to be taking it slow watching the ground. We'll see what happens. But uh, I'm kind of excited. I'm excited for this mine. Uh, I'm, I'm getting a little giddy thinking about it. Um, I don't think they can take this south route along the south wall, can they? No, they can't. It's not a street. Yeah, yeah, they are most definitely going to uh, hit this mine if they go this way. Is mine placed very, 
very neatly in the center of the crossroads here. So we'll see here. There's an SBG techie that the uh, insurgents can use here. We're going to see if uh, Shadow sees or hears them. He's got to hear it by now. This is Shadow Ritual, the command for yeah, uh, audible insurgents. On yeah. All right, yep. All right, we've got Audible on this Shadow's lodge. Shadow's now striker. live. I think the striker is being very careful, yes. making sure not to... Yes, that's a good idea. So he hears the... Uh, it's a great idea, great idea. He hears the striker. They don't necessarily know that the lodge has been destroyed. We do have an SBG technical and an RPG gunner here. SBG technical is going to be lighting up a shot. Tag once, tag once on the uh, striker. Very good SPG shot. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be pretty gross. Uh, oh wait, they're turning off and they're turning around. Uh, this is interesting. Oh, don't want to flip the striker now. Careful on those bridges. <laughs> All right, so this full striker and squad is getting cut off by that's literally two insurgents right now. And uh, that's going to delay a full yeah, east, south. squad reinforcement. To All right, what's the status on us getting the striker up here? They're going back for another shot. Hey, firm. Disembark your infantry. SPG loaded again. You must see it. It's out there in the woods directly in front of the vehicle. Try to zoom in here for you guys. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. What a shot. What a shot. <laughs> what a shot. Through the trees at like 300 meters. That was Looking a good shot. Good. That was a really nice shot. Where's that striker going now? We need that striker. They're gonna dismount. Uh, so this striker now kind of breaking under the pressure. Uh, there's not really much they can really do against this large amount of area with uh, infantry stuck in here, especially with such a low infantry number count, two versus nine. There's a lot of area where you can hide, and sometimes you just have to push through the kill zone because right now these two. These Just two infantrymen are infantry stopping this percent. entire push. Um, so it's going to be pretty pretty hard for this striker to move up now. Now that it has two shots. Not one, but now two SPG shots on it. But yeah, Americans really, really going to be holed up here. Um, and this this entire well, convoy is completely four, getting me and four, uh, spooked four and, and turning. We'll um, that's vehicles. something that I think we we've seen before we're is we're a, lot of, a lot of vehicle, a lot of vehicle a lot of vehicle uh, elements the striker lose a lot of momentum the when they hit first contact. We saw it a couple weeks ago it. on the, the uh, Al Basra op where the convoy get got uh, assaulted. We did not, and uh, we're seeing it here where uh, U.S. is losing a lot of momentum because. Uh, you get a little spooked when you get shot at. You pull the uh, squad or platoon or convoy to a hold. And then uh, in that time, you allow the offending uh, team to get a lot of maneuvers done. Like right now, we have this technical in the north now pushing along to uh, kind of sneak up on the striker. And see, it, it's not really uh, it's not really. Or they fell oh, back. It's one of those we'll see if they can find them, but it doesn't really make much sense to comb through this because there's so much area where you can uh, where you can hide. Is that you guys? It's gonna be it's gonna be very time consuming and resource intensive. Like they could end up losing some bad trades here, like two for five or two for six or however many. We're gonna see what what happens here. We uh, they're gonna the striker's gonna once again turn around and go. Oh. Yep, they've dismounted infantry. They're gonna try and uh, take. They're engaging. Out. They're just engaging the uh, mosque. They don't actually have eyes on targets. Um, but yeah, they're gonna turn the striker around again, and try to push through the north. Uh, U.S. infantry here pushing up though. Second, heal jump. Get your ass over here. So I'm not sure. Uh, they're on the far edge of the map. This is uh, as far as you could humanly be from the objective, and uh, insurgents are making this well worth their time. Sicking. 
a whole a whole uh squad against the edge of the map here with just two soldiers where is shadow shadow yeah. pull back where do you go that's a better call. okay so shadows uh, actually pulled his guys out of there right Three, they're gonna concede uh, the mosque and like i said very time consuming right because us now has to sweep this entire mosque instead of going around it or through it and uh this is time where the striker needs to be up at the front, assisting the uh, the platoon up there. Well, we're looking at the greater map here, and what's going on. Looks like insurgents mostly committed to just stopping the striker. Uh, there is one squad over here on the south, trying to push in, uh, but nothing too aggressive. They're mainly focusing on pinning the striker, and they're doing a great job of it. Um, so sometimes you gotta you gotta remember that the safest way not may not necessarily be around but what through options for attacking this going through thing. sometimes can be very Definitely effective especially if you have the momentum and violence of action to to, to actually make the that call from the uh, you can push through before defenses are set up because right now all ins is doing is they're delaying this push delaying 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 and with time they can effectively set up their perfect ambush however they want to with that time um so you see that happening now you're seeing that that uh team up north the rpg and uh dishka team they're now set up on the north uh where they want to be and this uh this team is still trying to clear the musk very time consuming we have 50 minutes on the clock so there's quite a bit of time i didn't know there's a techie so far out there interesting striker's gonna go around to the north i think uh they're gonna try to clear this and then cross the bridge on foot but once again leaving that that striker now has only a gunner in it so that's kind of a death wish, especially if it, uh, we'll see if these, uh, this techie up here is able to ambush it properly. They're not set up on the road. Um, but they need to hit, hit that crossroad a little bit faster here. Where are they? Let's see where they are on the map. Am I right above them? No, I passed them right here. Okay. So they're, they're coming to the crossroad. They actually have good eyes over here. That's, we're shooting at them. They're southeast. Oh, and there goes the uh, there goes the uh, lodgy blown up because it got squad. flipped. Telling you this? Nope. <laughs> He's busy killing, so fair enough, I suppose. What just happened to squad two? He's uh, lighting them up. I think squad two just got wiped. Pony, can you no, send, where's uh, squad two on the map? Why is it not coming up on my map? On should, they uh, pull back? back and link up with... I yeah, can't tell if they got wiped or what. Or they were here. And then they weren't. Are they just not showing up on my map? I'm so very confused. Hey, two, we're going to grab this dish attacky here, unless you guys want it. Huh, I, they're not rendering on my map. That's very awkward. Hey, friend. Oh, well. Alpha go. So uh, striker all the way back here on the east now, uh, just chilling. This whole U.S. squad with the strikers kind of get uh, they, once again they clear the mosque, but uh, nothing found. All right, Jack, I got I got two riflemen coming to you. Nothing found as the uh, hey, firm, this, we're gonna push insurgent fast. commander pulls back a little bit more. Yeah, our sevens pull hard. Oh, there we go. Now they're coming up on my map. All right, there's one and two. We'll go fly over and see what they're doing. One, two, and three. So it looks like the majority of uh, INS forces are now kind of shifting their focus over to the uh, west. Uh, U.S. is kind of set up now as best as they can be in the uh, defense structure. See, they're all pretty set up. I'm surprised that uh, no one went for the Artie truck. Artie truck's usually extremely popular in this operation, mainly because U.S. is kind of stuck on one spot. Squad four, um, come in. But no one went for the Artie truck. So interesting choices made by both uh, commands. Take it down to, uh, J. To pick him up. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Kind of hitting a slow point in the uh, in the round right here. Far east, moving north. Any high ground you like? Striker getting a little more aggressive on the north. East and north, gotcha. Copy. Yep, it's still to the east of us. Copy. Hold on this side. The INS do seem to have eyes on it, and they're shifting north. Say again for that striker location. 
Uh, other end of the map from you, like far, far east, oh. almost the edge of the map. <laughs> We've still got infantry there to uh, intercept us. That striker coming though. around the north now. We got infantry trying right, to push. Uh, yeah, still a visual up here from the tower. We'll see what right, happens. Wait, wait, we'll I see if they're either. actually gonna um, move up there fast are enough. Gonna be in some deep shit if you go south side. Enemies massing at the other insurgent resupply. And they should the be able to hear it, and, uh, and I think they hear it. Nine. I think he's gonna try to push up there. I can see like a full yeah, yeah, they hear it. They must hear it by now. Fox yeah, they're gonna push up. Hey, firm. All right, Odessa, new orders. Your proceed south side of the map. Follow in and come in behind them when when we start engaging them. All right, so all right, and that tracker is gonna push through. Once again, this squad not in the position. All right, guys. Oh my God. We'll see what happens. Two plus squads. Should I shoot it? INS shifting here. Negative. Yeah, I'm gonna put Tracer. Oh, fine, I won't put Tracer. Negative. Right. Squad one, get all your guys Copy. on our side of the river. We're gonna use the river as the death trap. That striker's uh, just chilling right here. Base. Squad Make five is kind of in position, but this 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 large wall might cut off his line Bottom of sight. On the striker, just east of me, it, it slipped past. It slipped past your uh, your fire team. Uh, it's north. I think they're gonna get past here. Hey, one, you also got contacts uh, as far yeah. as... Yeah, uh, he's they're not gonna, gonna be there in time. The Delta Echo line he's just gonna book it. Oh, he might have a shot right here on this corner turn. Holy shit. If he pushes fast enough. I see it. Oh, no. He's gotta run. He's gotta run. He's gotta run. Keep it in your hands. Oh, and there goes the, there goes the striker. Striker down, striker down. <laughs> so there goes the striker. Holy striker shit. gets popped. <laughs> <laughs> that was literally all Merrick. He took both SVG shots and uh, that last lat shot. I don't think it was time for anybody to get out of that thing. So Shadowed Ritual and hit Shadowed oh, Ritual all right, squad four. hitting all Let's three striker out. shots. Yeah, get them so vehicles. very impressive. And, uh, very good stuff. Start pushing west. Um, go. Fuck. Oh, bodies. I love bodies. Let me look. Mm. And uh, now squad three for the U.S. stuck way far on the east with no transportation. They're gonna have to hoof it all, all the right, way back. Uh, we'll we'll move over here as the uh, INS sets up for the main assault. Roger. So INS now massing their assault here on the south. I do think they're trying to reach that rocket techie. I think they're trying to right, gather I vehicles and ammunition I I even of to uh, to get to that. Rocket techie, so they can hammer this the point. One. Do you want us to support squad four, or are we just we're watch for him? Uh, might be near, but we need to fortify this compound here. All right, inside here, clear it, and then fortify it. I'll watch this window. Keep going. See all these U.S. soldiers out here. In cover, and then the INS platoon down here with the Dishkateki. Tony, have the we should go more west. What do you think about wrapping all the way west? That's interesting. I didn't know that the uh, yep. squads disappeared on the map. It's very the oh, we might have more contact over here at the uh, river. Squad, th these two uh, squads are real close to each other. Delta 10, this is XBit squad. Oh, yeah, and their contact goes out. Truth of them goes down. Moving Delta 10, will be in Charlie 10, uh, probably in about 10 seconds. All right, it'll be crossing. Not letting them in. This squad has seen a lot of contact over here. Okay, Bravo, let's hold them here. Let's wait until Alphas gets mobile and they can help us. Two and three, how's the movement going? Or two, three, and one, two, and three, how's the movement? I've got guys looking that way. If they start taking fire, we'll supplement them. Hey, firm. The U.S. squad is now breaking off. They're not going to try to push through this. Copy. Yeah, we're moving. Uh, but yeah, we'll tune we're back in fire. here in a while because yeah, I don't think there's going to be too much on. aggression on that side we're of the map. Do you know what happened to Logi? Negative. We've not had any contact with Logi. I'm assuming it slipped by us somehow. Where they flipped it or something, but we're not seeing it. Or is your guys seeing it over there? Looks like they're. All right. The uh, 
entire U.S. other squad, or excuse me, in INS squads. Now pushing further west, looks like they are gonna try to push and grab that uh that techie, or maybe not. I don't know. Both squads here, almost three squads. Three squads now pushing westbound. U.S. is just sitting and waiting. So far, uh, kills favor the U.S., but they did lose their striker, unfortunately. Squad three, if you and just yeah, time it over here, you see, you're seeing a lot of movement right now from both teams. Charlie seven one area. There's apparently a scout looking out. Just uh, keep you guys moving west and south. I'm gonna keep pushing far ahead, and I'll let you know when to pull up. I mean, uh, yeah, just a lot of something in the a lot of movement next to the INS resupply on uh, Delta Seven keypad one. It's interesting. INS Command is over here in the far northeast. Kind of just uh, chilling here. Copy. Yeah. We'll be pulling into that comm count to our northwest. Gonna make sure that's clear before we put Great work uh, by uh, Command. They're able to take down the striker pretty much single handedly. Holy crap. There's a huge technical convoy thing <laughs> right here where is it right here it is look at them that uh squad up north just went through and uh, scavenged three more technicals for use uh best be careful not oh they're gonna pick up squad four i see where they're going oh and uh, a little, little driving difficulty here a couple uh a couple collisions but it looks like they're gonna be picking up squad four and squad four here now uh Getting ready to get picked up. Three, sit rep. One squad trending towards Palace. As soon as these techies gets here, we're bouncing. Yep, Xbit squads now loading up. They're gonna be uh, yeah, filling via techie. All right, loaded. Come in behind them. Be advised, we did come into contact on. Uh, See all the uh, seven, all the infantrymen here now mounting up. Oh, someone someone Copy. made a boo boo. Copy. <laughs> And they're all loaded, so uh, let's see if they're going to run into squad 3. It doesn't look like it. If they go fast enough, uh, this techie squad should be able to push past all contact. Um, but yeah, they're going to be moving out here. That was pretty cool to watch. Got to be careful of these bridges. Let's not have any shaming tonight. And we got a full Dishka convoy here. We have 18 infantry approximately plus the technical to our south. Oh, uh, Pony pulling, Pony Could pulling out the call outs. Kind of difficult. Got the exact mile. number of insurgents on the south by counting yeah, heads. Time. And uh, they need to push faster. These vehicles, okay. Oh. They could still have another force coming in from our east. This, oh, this, okay. This well, they're going north? Oh, they're going north. All right. They're gonna cross yeah, this main left, bridge here. Frosty. I think, they may be scouting I think uh, Shadow's pulling these uh, this squad over with the techies. Push so this is gonna like, be pretty um, exciting. This the spot where I'm at, just north of me, and you can get some high ground and just fire into them. Uh, squad port, come in. A little rear end. Squad port. Uh, if we start taking contact on the east and it's not directed at you, it's directed at squad two. I want you guys to lay low, and then uh, we're gonna have you. Uh, perform a flanking maneuver. Roger. And they're yeah, pushing off. A lot of mobility the, here with the INS. In like 10 meters and it's uh, like are they gonna grab that other technical? It doesn't look like it. Command, do you want a spare insert? Resupply? You want an echo? Um, briefly. Don't go door to door, but uh. Just try and get here as soon as possible. Well. Oh, it looks like they're pushing up here. They might be able to see into the uh, compound. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this plan. I like this plan. If they put the Dishka up here and they orient them towards oh, 
They can actually see the entire uh, compound. Or are they going to push through? Uh, looks like they're pushing through. Rip the dream. That was a really good base of fire position. They're getting really close here. I don't know, this is a little close for comfort. This is rather close for comfort. Oh, I don't like this. I no, don't like this. There's two in that moss tower. Two in that moss tower. So the oh, I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what this these. is. What is going on here? Oh, lordy lord. These guys are about to get schwacked. Oh, uh, I don't know who made that call. I don't know who made that call. But yeah, no, that is that is a boo-boo. That is a very big boo-boo. I don't know who in their right mind did that. Uh, but that's a tactical error. We engaged them, tried to blow past us. That's a that's a very large tactical error. One tech is pulling east of us, squad four. Pen, do you do you know what happened there? What was coming through on command comms? Do you uh? One enemy squad, direct east. All right. Uh. Yeah, my my head hurts a little bit after that one. <laughs> that's a that's a good like eight insurgents dead. Copy. Yeah, that's a tactical uh, miscalculation. Number, give me a number in your squad. Of a live? Yeah. Striker was over there or Humvee. Um, didn't I didn't see any. I was back to calm. No, 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 no. How many in your squad are alive? Just you? I'm the only. I'm lone survivor. Copy. Alright, you're with us. <laughs> yeah. You're with us. Leave that techie. Leave the, leave the techie. We're going on foot. Looks like squad 4 got a... Uh... Yeah, uh, 4 was the only one to... 4 has one survivor. And he's hooked up with command now. You guys pretty entrenched here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure where those technicals were going. I really... I'm, I'm very confused. Because because 2 and 3 are in these compounds. This, they pretty much up. knew guaranteed that the entire okay, US platoon uh, was in that position. Your way on a straight line, palace, please. I want you coming in behind the uh so I'm not sure what what kind of call went down there or who made that call. But uh INS now in a really really bad spot. Incredibly incredibly bad spot. Uh Yeah, INS INS really behind the game, right, behind the bad. curve. Sounds like we got a full squad. They're going to be outmanned fighting against a uh Entrenched position, no RD truck being utilized. Oh shit, what a shot. And uh, yeah, right. INS now okay, on that so east side get engaged. engaged. Kind of following this flanking Thank squad you, on the uh, far west. Now these U.S. soldiers look like they're floating, but there's actually a min minaret there that's not rendering for us. INS set up, but uh. Okay, they are still yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here in this game. <laughs> we have enemy contact in the field just to squad two's north. Some uh, small arms going on over the east there. And U.S. is a pretty strong hold over the compound. Pretty strong hold. Oh, technical's gonna start engaging. He needs to hit the minaret. Oh, and there we go. We see rounds going out on the minaret. There we go. That's what I like to see. There we go. Finally, some heavy fire coming out by INS. We're gonna be utilizing this dish go over here. This is not a shielded dishka, so All right. Enemies, uh, enemies. you can see that small arms. Rocket, 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 rocket. Gun's gonna start loading. Place, just place. Let's get out of here. 
Some rounds coming in. Oh, oh, that oh, he actually gets one. Ooh, tasty. That's a squad leader too. Command just went down. One, you're in command. Oh, and Larue goes down to a dishka. That was unfortunate. What a shot by who is this? Immune style. Good on you. Good on you. We're going east. That was a very nice shot to take out U.S. command. I think INS Jeez. command is pretty uh destroyed here as well. We have All some right, more heavy disc of fire coming up over here. US is pinned on the north. Than, uh, the and uh, INS forward. using that relief and pressure to push up closer. We're going to try and push east and then south and hook back up with uh two Hey, right now we we're uh, if I go down, yeah, we're trying INS to push back command up two, and we're moving, I think uh, has gone down. To, you know, nope, he's still up. Alright. We have a full INS squad here on the right. They're going to try to be flanking around. Do you have any idea on the number? Try to follow them for a little while. They're close now. Let's try and stay out the water. This I like how we're moving. One, how's it going over there? Or three. All right. More heavy fire coming in. They're bounding up pretty well here in the west. Taking shots from northeast. Ooh, there's some good suppression coming out over here. Smith, are you good? Northeast. This squad right here in the south getting caught as well. Inas being kept at arm's distance. U.S. has pretty good positioning. This Western squad is getting pinned as well. Yeah, they're not going to be able to advance. Ooh, RPG coming out. I don't know if they got anyone, but it lands pretty close. Yeah, I think the, the better call would have been to use Orchard as a firing position with the Dishkas and then just lay into the area. You had four or five Dishkas there. It's a lot of HMGs when you think about it. Like, uh, a lone techie by itself or in the wrong spot doesn't really count for much. But you get five dishkas. You get five, maybe even six. You stick them all together. No. You put them on orchard. And you just get, like, you have, like, 2,000 plus rounds to throw into this 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 moss. I mean, I see Jenkins. That would have been pretty devastating. One U.S. soldier goes down to the dishka again in the minaret. There goes Best Pony. You can see this one dishka, this one dishka, how effective this one dishka is at range. Imagine if you had six of them. <laughs> so these uh, U.S. soldiers now held up. Okay, hold that. Three forty, or three thirty? Yeah, yeah, they're at that. All right, what's gonna happen? Alpha, can you? I see the get... window, but I don't see someone cool, in cool. it. Yeah, there was someone in there a second ago. What's going to happen is... Shoot it? One is uh, having trouble there. advancing past this What's field with happen? contact in it, We're but we, uh, we can't really clear it out. To the north using Copy that one. A um, lot of uh, pressure now being lost. Once again, you see that momentum break and lines are being redrawn. The squad on the west could not push. No smoke's being utilized yet. Copy. And then this squad on the south uh, not making any maneuvers right now either. You got it. Uh, U.S. is keeping them really, really far back right now, and the only thing that can really counteract that kind of pressure from U.S. are the dishkas or the RPGs, but neither are uh, being utilized rather effectively. Just uh, INS trying to get close enough, but without getting close enough, they can't do much damage, and if U.S. continues to hold them at range with their superior weapon systems... They're not going to be able to win this. See, that Dishka really puts out a lot of suppression. That shit, that thing fires in your direction, you're going to get the fuck down. So, uh, unfortunately, that whole Dishka techie squad got completely schwacked. Um, oh, RPG. This south squad is going to try to make a push. We see smokes coming out. A little premature. This is a little awkward because they're going to outpace the smokes. All right, there we go. Secondary smokes coming out. These smokes are going to be better, but the first initial smokes are, are kind of going to bog down. 
And now they're gonna take fire. Dishka trying to get some enfilade fire on the west. He's doing its job. RPG's going out, but they're missing. Smokes aren't developed yet. They're still outpacing the smokes. They need to wait. The squad's pushing up a little fast. Smoke should cover in just a moment. And, uh... More possible. Fall back, uh, west. See if you can't hit these guys in the ass. Only if possible. Don't want you risking cells. Silas coming out with the RPGs. One's gonna start working this is back. pretty suicidal, pushing uh, pushing through the river on this side. There's a bridge and a building on the right. I don't know about pushing through the river on this uh, area. There's multiple. There's uh, a lot more hard cover on the right, as you can see. Like, uh, this is just the open river in front here. A lot of smoke coming out. They need to utilize it. They either got to move or something. There we go. Call to move. Goes out. Our uh, frags coming in here. There's there's no way they're gonna push through that river. See, these two what insurgents had the right idea. There. They got over here Copy. pretty close on the right using the bridges as cover. And they actually are in a position to do a good amount of damage. Uh, he's got to slow down. Oh my god, the drop shot. This man is a savage. Yeah, this river is... I don't know who made the call to push through the river. This is no oh bueno. Goodness, north. He got GLs, he got high ground, you got an open river. Oh boy. Fire, fire at the same area. Just to the left of that, that compound. Alright, they got a couple guys up on the wall now. We'll see if they're they're able to... Because now they, now they got to worry about frag grenades, and now you're fighting uphill. Copy that, too. Uh, how's it going? Get to the right of where you are just shooting. And Trade one for one on the right. Yep. We'll see what happens over here in the uh, the, the, front or, the frontal push. They're making progress. They are making progress. But they took uh, they took him a good amount of casualties, and now there's a couple guys stuck back here as well. I'm not sure if they utilized all their smokes or just a couple Three, of them. Three, two, one, right side of that wall. Copy that. This Swing western squad, once again, they can't. They, there's just no cover to push on that west. You have that northern kind of draw, but that leads straight into like uh, this this gunner right here. More RPGs coming out. Contact close. Contact close. Very difficult position right now for INS. And now these uh the squad over here getting flanked. The shadow goes down on the rear. Yeah, they're stuck on the outside of the wall here. There's a couple that survived the push. He actually gets two. Who is that? Silas, a madman, dropping two or three. Making some good 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 shots right here. We're gonna hit you hard on the southeast side. Oh, that, that 50 cal doing some work over here. It manages to catch one of them in the open. And U.S. now trying to reconsolidate. Squad 3 in a precarious position. They're both in a good and bad position. If they get outpaced, though, they'll be fighting getting fighting to get into the compound. Uh, but if they push hard and fast, they can swipe, uh, wipe up this, this flank. But uh, it's going to come Just down to how fast they move. U.S. is still pretty entrenched within the compound. Let me see this western squad just trying to find a way to get further. Because they're stuck on this uh, low low piece of cover. And this draw is just a straight shot with uh, only concealment. A lot of, lot of HE coming out. Another insurgent goes down. Two's gonna need our help on this assault. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, move to my position on the corner. And you are going to give covering. Fire. Oh, and they're going to be pushing through on the west here. They're going to try to grow, go. This is the best time to do it. Start moving. There's ever a time to move. Now is the time. Shadow squad getting mopped up right here in the south. Oh, the Dishkateki pushing up on the west as well. They're making some good progress. They're uh, they're feeling it out, noticing that there's not too much resistance over here. And they're going to be able to push up pretty fast. I'm not sure why U.S. gave up this uh, location, I guess, to pull back more bodies to defend the main compound. Um, but yeah, I mean, U.S. outnumbers INS, but not within the compound. Um, they have a lot. They have pretty much one full squad on the outside surrounding. Um, so if INS can, and this is a big if, but if they can breach and clear, they'll have defensive advantage after that. So we'll see. CMI came out of pushing his squad up over here on the west. They're going to engage it, uh, getting engaged on by squad three. They need to pick up the tempo and cut line of sight by pushing further east. 
Um, but I'm not sure if that pressure is going to come out. I don't think they have the smokes for it at this point. Yeah. We have contact in the... Lack coming out. That dish techie is going to re-engage once again. Oh, you okay. see that? That dish techie gunner is a god. Who is that? That's immune, right? Let me see this. Immune's got five downs in that thing. If only, if only they kept the other ones alive. If only. Could have been pretty devastating. And uh, they're getting pinned right here. They need to keep moving. They have enough cover to keep moving. There's no reason to stay here. But it looks like INS is getting wiped up. If Amin can get back on the Dishka and do some more damage. Is he still up? Oh, he is. Uh, 142 from my Southeast. I think you can... got it. We got at least one person on every door and a lot of the other corners covered. A couple so of uh, insurgents here healing up, but a lot of pressure been broken on the uh, far west. Immune gonna get back on the gun? Not back. The, the spacing, the spacing here is pretty precarious. <laughs> one one GL round and that's uh that's night night for a fire team. Who is this still alive over here? He's just snacking along. Who is this? Revy Beast. Making it pretty far, just crawling. Direct north of you. Oh, Thank that you. soldier goes down. Did you get him? Squad 2 is down to just me and another guy. We're, uh... We're and I just slowed down to a crawl as their numbers get diminished. GL is trying to hit that squad over the west. That's that's my grenadier. Copy that. Oh, he might be able to catch another player in the open. Odessa, did you get that guy on the tap? Show? Tap. Yeah, I did. We're gonna keep pushing west to clear that guy. Oh, and he, Ravi goes down. But Revy actually doing quite a bit of damage, I think. Revy and Silas both got both got up on those walls and did some damage. But not enough pressure here on the east. Once again, these guys are pinned. These guys are pinned again. Three times enemy infantry. About to cross the river. Across the river. About to cross the river, yes. You can see they're trying to now nah, these guys are trying to cross the uh river. That river is very, very hard to cross. Very hard to cross. This is a much safer route on the right with the bridges. There's no way they're gonna cross this this river with this dish guy up here. Oh, immune's gotta reload though, or Remick. Oh no! I mean, I think Ines can still do it. They gotta pull off some pretty amazing trades. Well, you can see the amount of suppression that this thing just it pins an entire squad. You can't underestimate the te the Dishka techies. Uh, Odessa, did you guys deploy smoke down there? Yep, yeah, that's my smoke. Roger. More 40 millimeter rounds coming in. Narrowly missing the insurgents. Still one in the Moss Tower. Ooh, damn. Still got more rounds. Oh, he's got to reload, though. But yeah, I don't think these guys are going to be able to push off here from this point. Unless this Dishka techie can uh, hit them up a little bit harder and get a couple more kills. These these insurgents are pretty much going to be pinned here for the rest of the game. There's uh, very few avenues of approach from this location. They could try to break direct east and use this low wall, but that minaret has good eyes on. Oh, he, get oh, he almost got that guy in the, in the tower. Unfortunately, these these mud walls cannot be penetrated. Squad three, did you take it? How the heck can't we don't get flanked here? I got hit. I got hit. Oh oh, and Remick gets tagged. He might go down here. He got tagged pretty hard. Advise, I saw someone cross northwest of the objective. I wasn't able to get a shot on him. Yeah, yeah, Surgeons kind of get just getting picked off here at this point. <clears throat> Shots coming out from INS. But yeah, superior weapon systems outnumbered and better cover from the US is going to pretty much seal the deal here. 
These guys are pretty much just waiting to die. <laughs> Oh, that RPG was close. Didn't get anyone though. Landed on the wrong side of the wall. This US soldier actually getting up pretty close. This is Dermoplast over here. Pretty handed uh, victory by the US. A couple tactical errors on both sides, but uh. Yeah, I think the big swing was there was no real plan after the initial uh, convoy engagement. There was no real plan to take the actual objective. There was a lot of pressure put on to taking out the striker, which they were able to complete. They were able to knock out that striker. But uh, <clears throat> the follow-up was not as strong. They could have used the uh, rocket techie. Or the standard dish techies to support this, but there's a lot. The ending felt a little rushed. Oh, that RPG narrowly missing. That that's actually that's actually gonna cause some bleeding here. He's gonna send another round into the smoke, I think. Is he? That's bird person. He doesn't have any more RPGs. Yeah, I think Remick went down as well. It's just Peyton, Immune, and Bird at this point. We're just trading back and forth here. <laughs> 40 Mike, Mike right up the back and Immune goes down. And I think this is gonna seal the deal. I think that's it. And that's game game. So yeah. INS picking a really weird assault strategy for the end. They were able to execute the. Um, they were able to execute the uh, assault properly, or the ambush properly. Excuse me, but the follow up fell short, unfortunately. Yeah, Immune coming in big with the Dishka. I was looking at my Silas being able to hit that wall. Ten feet behind me. You know, I don't need your negativity in my life. But yeah, interesting round, interesting round for sure. You died, you did a great job. You didn't let me finish. Finish. All right, stick around. We'll be right back with round two, so stand by. This is Squad Ops out GG, hosted by uh, Karma Cut, your founder and director here, and Penn, who is behind the scenes mixing up all the magic. This was Operation Spartan Trail round one. We're going to be taking a short intermission here and rolling to round two.